Is God only concerned with us following the rules, or is there more to following Christ? Well, stick around because today we're going to dig into 1 Corinthians 13 and see what Paul says about love and the law. Hey there, my name is Wayne Riz, and on this channel we are walking the journey towards Jesus together. You can subscribe to join our community and get a new Bible study video every Tuesday. Isn't high school math just the best? I remember two of my math teachers, and, and I only remember two math teachers because, well, um, I didn't really apply myself always in high school, so I had each of the teachers two times because I didn't do so great in each of their classes. But isn't it kind of annoying how in math class the teacher always wants you to show your work? Even if you can do some magic in your head and get the right answer, they want to see how you got that answer. It's like my teacher wanted to see that I understood the process for getting to the answer more than she wanted to see me write x equals 41. In math, it's important that we understand the process because when we, when we understand that process, we can solve other problems. As we walk the journey towards Christ, there are a lot of things that we should do and there are some things that we shouldn't do any longer, but more important than that list is our motivation. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, Paul writes, If I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but do not have love, I have become a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and know all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all my possessions to feed the poor, and if I surrender my body to be burned, but do not have love, it profits me nothing. Paul is writing to the church in Corinth, and in chapter 12, he talks about spiritual gifts. But as he starts chapter 13, he talks about love. He talks about the motivation behind doing what we do. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard a pastor's kid or a worship leader's kid go up to the drum set on a Sunday after church and just start banging on those cymbals. Um, it's loud, it can be a little bit disruptive, and it doesn't usually sound that good. But when a skilled musician who understands how all that works and has the right motivation uses cymbals while he's playing the drums, it really adds to the musical experience. To end verse two and verse three, Paul writes, if I have not love, I am nothing. And if I have not love, it profits me nothing. If we follow the law without love, we are missing the point. Love should influence how we think about God and how we think about others. Our love for Christ should motivate us to know him more and to obey his commands. And our love for others should motivate us to see them as created by God and made in his image. When Jesus was asked about the greatest commandment in Matthew 22, his response was, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Everything else hangs on love. Without love, I am nothing. Thank you so much for checking out the video this week. If you liked it, you can hit that thumbs up button. You can share it with friends and family so that they can enjoy it too. You can subscribe to get a new video every Tuesday. Let me leave you with this question that you can answer in the comments and discuss with a friend, a parent, or a pastor. What is the danger in simply following the rules? There's a few more questions for discussion down below. I'd encourage you to check those out, talk through those with your family, and we'll see you later, alligator. Is God only concerned with... Um, let me leave you with this question that you can... Th I forgot my line. To subscribe, click on the circle on the left. To check out a friend's channel, click that circle on the right. To watch a video that YouTube thinks you should watch, click that box in the middle. And if you want to learn more about supporting me on Patreon, click the link in the description.